Pay for car.gov slash the right seat. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, the most positive business talk show in America. Best-selling authors of lists that saved my business and founders of the Extreme Customer Service Directory, Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer, are inspiring you to get your business right. They know the customer experience isn't just another thing. It's the only thing. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. Very nice to have you along with us today. We are here to remind you that small business is big business. Your business is our business. And a shout out to each and every one of you. Oh, absolutely. Hello. Good afternoon. Good happy middle of the week. Indeed. Right? Oh, wait. No. Oh, no. No, is. you know what it is? Do you you know, know what it is? is? No, do you know what it is? I know, I know what know, it is. No, I don't think you do. Mike, 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 Mike. It's pump day. Pump day. It is pump day. Pump day. It is pump day. <laughs> it is. So if you work out, it's a pump day. You know what that means? I don't. I, mean, I do, but I don't. It's weight training day. It is. It's weight training day. Did so you? oh, you've been training with your latte. Well, no, I've been right now. But if <laughs> if you go to the gym and you know you're switching between cardio and and uh, weight training and strength training today. It's, it's pump day. Pump day. All right. Pump day. I heard that from my friend Eric Hunsberger. Oh. Uh, helping you reach your life goals, reaching your life goals, right? Is so smart. He kinda is. He really is. He He's a is. blessing to anybody who knows him. And uh Eric, if you're listening, uh shout out to you. We appreciate you. Uh you know, yesterday, um here in the Denver area, we were expecting uh this deluge of hail and rain and everything. And I don't know about you. But I stayed out on the deck until 9.30 p.m., dry, warm, no jacket. It was really nice. Did we get rain? No. Oh, I'm not, like, not, okay. not a shred, not a shred. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, I just, I loved, I loved being able to be pleasantly surprised that I don't have to stay inside. I could stay outside and enjoy uh, the beautiful weather. All right. Yeah. Well, very good. Very good. I, you know, it's like we're on two different planets. I'm like, yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember the weather. No. What should our kindness act of the day be today? I think you should uh, give somebody a hug. Give somebody mm-hmm. a hug. Yeah, give somebody a hug. So here's, I have a, I have a friend of mine who is, she's, she's so giving and she's, she's one of those that just expresses gratitude and uses the expression of gratitude anytime that she is having a struggle. Yeah. So kind of how we do our 24 hour no complaining challenge and right. you switch that up with yep. a compliment or act of gratitude. Mm-hmm. She is big into gratitude Absolutely. and expressing gratitude. And she reaches out. She sends no cards. She's the only person I know that hand writes over 500 hand addresses, it's, over 500 Christmas cards every year. It's amazing. Like we all put that in a, in an Excel spreadsheet. We have yeah, prints, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, where we order it from an order, you know, we download our, our contact list into us and into a database and, right. and have it all automated. She hand writes and she sends out cards all the time. She does phone calls. She does posts. Well, I got, I got a, I got a voice message from her today. Yeah. And the voice message was super sweet and she's being very kind, yeah. but I could just hear in her voice. This, pain. this was not easy for her. This, yeah, the, I could hear pain in yeah. her voice, and and I just know, and aren't I mean, we know so many people like this. Sure. There's such givers, mm-hmm. but they go unnoticed, or people don't appreciate, and they don't really take the time to recognize that what you know what you're doing. We're all so caught up in our own world, yeah, that we don't really notice what other people are really doing to make a difference. Right. And in fact, those are the kind of people that get attacked. More often than not, they're, they're they put it all out on their sleeve. And all of it, vulnerable and yes, super vulnerable. And unfortunately, the world is not kind it's, in many ways. In many ways, and so uh, I just I picked up the phone and called her yeah. because I heard it, and and of course, and I said, I know you. <laughs> she says, you do, and and so we had we just had a sweet a sweet conversation, but in the conversation, just. Taking the time out of our day to stop being so, and when we talk about the kindness act of the day, the hashtag kindness act of the day, this isn't yeah. just a post. This isn't just something like random and, hey, I kind of like that or I kind of don't. No, it's something we commit to. But what can we do just, and, and it starts with me, right? It, right? As an individual, 
what can I do to make a difference today in somebody else? Lift somebody else up. Yes, we have our own challenge challenges. Yes, we have our own baggage. Yeah. But when we pour into other people, it kind of lessens the burden a little bit on what we're carrying. Lessens Absolutely. the weight of our own load. Does it make it go away? No. Do we forget it? No. Um, but does it make it just a little bit easier to get through? Yes. And yeah. sometimes that's just all we need is that little piece. And so when we talk about the kindness act of the day, we talk about creating a revolution in the way people treat people in business. These aren't just words. Right. We have to get out of all about me, what's in it for me, and and in my own space and what, you know, why should I do that? Because you add value. Because there are people out there that are hurting and need you. They need your smile. They need your kindness. They need your gratitude. They need you to save the front parking spot for somebody else who might need it a little more than you do. Right. They need you to hold the door open for them because right now at the moment, they are just barreling through and barely thinking they're going to get through their day. They need you to reach out and lift them up. So call them, hug somebody, smile at people, let let people merge in front of you, even if they don't use their turn signal. Oh, let people in front of you, even if they have 11 items in the 10 item line, you know, it's okay. Because nothing bad happened, nothing bad happened. but it's a, it's an, it's a, it's a shift that happens one person at a time. And then it's like a domino. You put some kindness, you share some kindness to somebody else who wasn't getting any other kindness right. anywhere else today. That's right. Maybe this is the only act of kindness they get and it's from you. And when we think about in the big picture, in the big world, all these little things, and we think they're inconsequential but they really do add up to make a difference. They absolutely do. And it is a, a, a beautiful uh, segue to, to you know, the kindness act of the day. Uh, grab that hashtag. It's long. It's kindness <laughs> act of the day. All of it, right? <laughs> but grab that and use it on Facebook and use it on Twitter and send a virtual hug or wrap somebody up in your arms and just hug them. Robert says, uh, hugs, not drugs. <laughs> Holly says, free hugs for everyone. Free hugs so, for everyone. Right. I like that. I like that. Yeah. So um, lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff going on. Our members are actually meeting this evening. We're all getting together this afternoon. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be just, this is one of those things that we can all do so much virtually. We can do so much, you know, through text messaging, even Facebook live videos. Sure. But there is something very valuable about getting together, right? Getting together with girlfriends, getting together with friends, right. getting together with other business professionals that just elevate you to think bigger and remind you that you are making a difference. There's so, so many challenges that we are going through. And we know that, that through the challenges, it's making us better. It does. There's lessons we need to it learn. Refines, uh, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, we don't like it. No. We, 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 no. we wish it was just smooth sailing all the time. But really, it's in those rough, rough moments that we see what we're made of. And then you come through it and you are more empowered because of it. And, and some of the people that you touch as you allow people to engage with you in that situation. And so you're, you're absolutely right. You know, let people in and do the face to face thing. And, you know, I'm hoping that when we get to uh, the event that we're doing this evening, I already offered to, to buy somebody else a, a glass of wine. I'm hoping that somebody comes over and just gives me a hug because I'm looking for one of those. Are you looking for one of I those? Am. I am. I am. I Aren't am. we all? We would all love just some kindness, right? There's not enough right? of that going on right now. In fact, the world is just by the day becoming more and more freaked out about other people. I mean, you think the trust factor in other people, we're becoming more and more cynical because of things we're seeing in the news, the way we've been treated. We've been used by friends. We've yeah. been used by salespeople, right? For their own, for their own agenda. And so it does, it turns into, it turns into cynical old men sitting on our porch going, you people get off my lawn. <laughs> I think, I think old men have a have a bad rap. It's a it's a well, because at that point you're like, I'm just tired, of being nice. I'm tired of being nice. I'm tired of having good manners. I'm just gonna get you to get off my lawn. There you go. And uh, thank you to Holly who is tuned in. She's using the hashtag kindness act of the day. Grateful for you. Hey, listen, folks. If uh, if any of this resonates with you, and you would like 
a new way of doing business, uh, a new group of people who literally lead with how can I serve you or how can I help you before we even think about asking for something uh, in return, then check out experiencepros.com. That's experiencepros.com. And when you get there, I encourage you to click the free trial button. Now, by clicking the button, you're not going to be signed up for anything. It's just to the next page that gives you all the information of what we are willing to do in order to help you build your business, build your relationships, develop those relationships in such a way that it actually uh, leverages those relationships into business actually happening. It is a business talk show. It is a business community. But goodness, it's amazing. All right, uh, we will be back right after these messages, so please don't go anywhere. You're listening to Angel and Eric, and this is the Experience Bros Radio Network. America's home for positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Bros Radio Show. Contact them on the web at experiencebros.com. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. You never planned on getting injured in an accident. You don't know where to turn. Call Boson Law. When you meet with John Boson, you'll know right away you've made the right decision. John will put you at ease and explain the whole process start to settle it. They'll handle medical bills or... Staff are amazing. If your whole world has been turned upside down, Bosun Law will help turn it right side up. It starts with a free consultation, no money out of the pocket, and Bosun Law only gets paid when they win your case. If you're hurt, the call is easy, and their number is two. Call Bosun Law at 303 999 9999. 303 999 9999. Or visit Bosun Law.com. That's B O E S E N Law.com. Call Bosun Law, 303-999-9999, or visit bosonlaw.com. That's B-O-E-S-E-N law.com. Hey there, Dan Cicchini, owner of Done Right Kitchens and Baths, Windows and Doors. There's absolutely no reason why right now can't be your time to get started on that beautiful new kitchen or that awesome bath you've always wanted. Right, Todd? Of course, Dad. With our unique cabinet resurfacing, they'll get that beautiful new kitchen. And without the mess and expense of replacement. And in a shorter time, too. Boy, you've got that right, Todd, but if an all-new kitchen is on your wish list, we'll build it from the bottom up, first rate all the way. And let's not forget that very special room, the bath. What about that? Well, hey, turning leaky, moldy, smelly baths into awesome rooms, that's what we do. Whether it's a tub-to-shower conversion or a whole new five-piece bath, our family business will make it special, just like we've done for decades. Okay, Todd, so folks, give us a call and see what our family can do for your family. Kitchens, baths, counters, and floors, and even replacement windows and doors, you have our word, we'll treat you right at done right. 303-722-2295-800-362-8370 or DunRightKitchens.com. Hi, I'm Carrie Gasmus, Area Manager with Fairway Independent Mortgage. Have you noticed some mortgage ads lately? Companies that used to advertise low, low rates and savings of hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on your refinance have suddenly become purchase experts. At Fairway, we've always been purchase experts. We offer our qualified, pre-approved buyers a 20-day purchase guarantee from contract to close. In Colorado's competitive real estate market, a quick closing can be the difference between owning a home you love or dragging your search out for months. Apply from your computer or mobile device online through our easy application process. Unlike other companies, we won't leave you floating alone in a gravity-free room. Our local team of loan officers walks with you every step of the way to qualify and close on your dream home. Learn more about our 20-day closing guarantee and your home loan options by calling 303-214-9071 or visit us online at fairwaymortgagecolorado.com. Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation. NMLS number 2289 is an equal housing lender. This is not an offer to enter into an agreement. Not all customers will qualify. Information rates and programs are subject to change without notice. All products are subject to credit and property approval. A pre-qualification is not an approval of credit and does not signify that underwriting requirements have been met. Branch and MLS number 1122559. Regulated by the Colorado Division of Real Estate. Father's Day is quickly approaching. How about spending some quality time with Dad at the Fresh Fish Company on Sunday, June 18th with two special events. Father's Day brunch from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and Father's Day dinner from 4.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. Why not start the day off right with Father's Day brunch at the Fresh Fish Company? They're serving the best all-you-can-eat buffet in town with honey glazed Danish country ham, filled meat shrimp, and succulent snow crab legs. Plus over 30 hot and cold buffet favorites and over 20 
executives' homemade desserts, including their Make Your Own Sunday Bar. Father's Day brunch is only $32.95, a small price to pay to say thanks, Dad. Or if Dad prefers, the Fresh Fish Company can turn Father's Day into Father's Night. Their special dinner menu features sweet, buttery lobster tail, Alaskan king crab legs, juicy filet mignon, slow-roasted prime rib, or wild Alaskan king salmon. The Fresh Fish Company is filling up fast for both events, so show Dad how special he is by making your reservations today. Call 303-740-9556. That's 303-740-9556. Experience Pros Radio Show. Got an opinion or want to ask us a question? Email radio at experiencepros.com or message us on the Experience Pros Facebook page and we'll interact with you. They are, they are so into their their technology and so into all of their little, you know, tools and gadgets. And they've got twenty different, you know, I guess not twenty. They've got their iPad, they've got their gaming system, they've got their phone, they've got their music. They are so inundated in technology that I know we are worried that their communication skills are all just going out the door. Are they? I think that it uh, their communication skills with each other are not going out, <laughs> out the window because you have all these shortcuts and way of communicating. But I do think what goes out the window is the nuance of influence, which so much of influence is how people feel about themselves around the person. And so it's teaching kids how to get out of the technology world into this one-on-one -on -one dialogue world, world so that when they're in school – when they go to get jobs, they have habits that get them more of what they want. Sure. Which they're not always going to have technology as a tool to do that. Christina, I've seen the commercial. Maybe you have as well. It's a national brand that's talking about uh, uh, turning off the Wi-Fi so that the kids can all jump together and, uh, and have dinner together. The whole family can have dinner together. And what happens is when the mom finds the technology and she turns the off switch on, everybody pitches themselves on the floor and, and uh, oh, what are you doing? And then the next scene goes to them actually having dinner. Are you an advocate of uh, doing something like that? Or is that just uh, adding salt to the wound? So one of the things that I learned at a collection agency of all places is that when things are a confrontation, you lose commitment. And so uh, if we can keep this a conversation rather than a confrontation, so turning the Wi-Fi off is a confrontation. Yeah. Figuring out a way to make 
verbal engagement more interesting for kids is a conversation. Oh, so like an example would be storytelling. Um, when my son's friends are over for school, I just start doing reliving some sort of story with them around something they care about and they get off their phones and through the whole dinner, they're just talking. So mm. it's figuring out how do I get them engaging in another way? Yeah. Oh, Absolutely. I like it. And you know, and, and I find too, Christina, I, I have to model the behavior I'm looking for. And so when I've got my iPad on in front of me and I'm involved in, in something or my phone and we're trying to have a conversation, I'm distracted. Right. And so then the, the conversation ends quickly. So I have to consciously, I've, I've had to do this, just turn it off, close it, turn it over. And they see that, that I want to have that conversation with them. And I, and then it, it models for them that in order to have a conversation with a human being, you can't do it while you're also, <laughs> you know, looking at, at your, at your devices. So, so how, how, you know, this summer, I think it's so easy for them to get so caught up and spend their entire days in front of some screen or another. Right. Uh, any, any tips for parents uh, on, on how to curb some of that this summer? So here's a couple of ideas. Um, one of the reasons why I believe kids like playing video games is that there's two things. They like the feeling of winning. They love that feeling. And some of the video games give kids a feeling of power, um, but they're getting that power cheaply. And because kids don't feel often in control of decisions, they want that feeling of power. And so one way um, to get kids off of the screens and off of video games is to figure out how to give them those feelings elsewhere. Should we give them and a Nerf sword? Pardon me? Should we give them a Nerf sword and say, take it yes. outside? <laughs> if that is the, what the kid's into. So yeah. an example would be one of my, my, my son's friends is really into coins. And so I just um, went, researched some old coins and got a couple of things to show him. And his, the lights went on. He didn't ask to play video games. We started researching and looking at his coins. So... One of the reasons I wrote a book um, is about this idea of how powerful it is when we get enough in a specific. Like as soon as I said 1909 SVDV penny, this kid's light, his lights came on wow. and we engaged in a totally different conversation that had nothing to do with technology. Wow. Okay. So there's hope. There's hope for all of us in in bringing, bringing the family conversation back together. And it is so important as they go into the workplace or they're at sure. school um, to have, to have some of these communication skills, but it, but it starts at home. All right. So Christina, do you want to give some information about allegory and helping individuals and companies with their communication skills? Yeah. One of the things that we've learned around behavior is physiology plays a, such a big part in all of this is how people feel. Um, and so there's a book called Suede, How to Communicate for Impact. It's something that we wrote for our clients about how do you help people be engaged. Um, and part of it is people have a basic need to feel understood. Mm -hmm. And if we fill that need, we have more commitment. And that's why the kid with the coin collection was more engaged with me, because he felt understood. Absolutely. I want to encourage our listeners to go pick up a copy of the book, Suede. In fact, pick up two for one who's going to do the communicating and one for who's going to receive the communication. Uh, and and then we'll, we'll be on the same page. No pun intended. Uh, the book is called Suede, How to Communicate for Impact, of course, wherever books are sold. But you can check it out at AllegoryInc.com. That's AllegoryInc.com. Christina, thank you for joining us. Oh, it's so sweet of you to have me. Thank you. Absolutely. All right, folks. technology free. There, there <laughs> yes, you go. Thank you. With, the, with the, the help of a microphone. Uh, folks, we'll be back with more positive business talk right after these messages. You're listening to Angel and Eric, and this is the Experience Pros Radio Network, home of positive business talk. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business.
The Colorado Business Roundtable brings you Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. Hear from key leaders in Colorado's business community advocating for proactive business policies that strengthen the economy and help business grow and thrive in Colorado, as well as helping to make Colorado the best place to live now and for generations to come. Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 and Money Talk 1690. Hi, this is residential real estate expert Dan Palomino from the Colorado Dreamhouse team. Listen, if you're thinking about selling your home, you want to get the highest price in the shortest amount of time. To do that, you need a great real estate team and one with incredible marketing. We're so sure our marketing plan for your home is better than everyone else. We're willing to put our money where our mouth is. Here's what we're offering. Interview the Colorado Dreamhouse team to sell your home. Then interview our competition. If their marketing plan is better than ours, then you can hire them and we'll pay you two. I know, it sounds crazy, giving you $250 to hire our competition. It probably won't happen because we're so sure you'll find our marketing plan better. You'll hire us to sell your home at top dollar. Why not give it a try? You have nothing to lose and $250 to gain. Call us today at 720-446-6325 or to find out... For more information about our marketing guarantee, visit coloradodreamhouse.com forward slash 250. Wild birds unlimited. Spring is bursting out all around us. Birds are singing their courtship songs. Squirrels are romping playfully through the trees. Butterflies are painting our gardens with color. KDMT Radio invites you to learn more about these felicitous activities by joining David and Scott Menno for Bird Talk every Saturday at noon right here on KDMT. Bird Talk is presented by Wild Birds Unlimited and can help you create the most attractive backyard wildlife habitat in the known universe. You'll hear fascinating interviews, wildlife news, and entertaining information about the natural world. KDMT Radio invites you to learn more by joining David and Scott Menno for Bird Talk every Saturday at noon right here on KDMT. So give the bird dudes a call with your questions this Saturday at noon on Bird Talk. Wild Birds Unlimited brings people and nature together. Wild Birds Unlimited We bring people and nature together Alcohol began to be a problem a few years ago, and the problem just got worse. Hi, my name is Bill. Alcohol had crept into my life over the years, taking over until I didn't have a life anymore. I needed a solution before I lost everything. I tried various treatments and counseling. They did not solve the real problem. I was addicted. I was exhausted trying to fight it. Go Sober was able to solve the problem within a week, and it's great to have my life back. If you want to find out more, Go to GoSober.org. 85% of people who go through the Go Sober program never drink again. The 85% success rate is because it uses science to solve your addiction problem. Go Sober provides FDA-approved medical treatments using specific drugs administered by a doctor in the physician's office. You will lose your desire to drink almost immediately, and you'll be back to work and back to your life the next day. Call Go Sober at 303-827-4837. That's 303-827-4837. Or go to GoSober.org. Finally, be comfortable in your home. Install a new energy-efficient Lennox heating and air conditioning system from Pasture Camp and receive up to $1,700 in rebates. Or take advantage of 0% interest financing for up to 72 months with approved credit. The Pasture Camp family has provided comfort and a customer satisfaction guarantee for over 50 years. Discover Pasture Camp and experience comfort. Call 303-777-1234 or visit PastureCamp.com. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Dragon Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a business revolutionary by sharing a Fan Dragon story of great customer service by using the hashtag Fan Brag or calling the Fan Dragon Hotline at 855 Fan Brag. F A N B R A G. Now back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. <laughs> what are you doing to oh, me? Oh. Hold on for a second. I'm waking up. Is that seriously the alarm that you use to wake yourself up in the morning? Yeah, that, that, but that's snooze number one. That's snooze number one? That sounds the that, same. That's snooze number two. Is this how you Three break times. yourself out of Three your times. morning slumber? This is it. 
I hit, it goes off and I'm like, ah, snooze. Does that, does that then, freak you out? Like the noise? Because it's like, it's rah. designed to wake you out of a dead sleep. Yes. It yeah, but, but yes. It doesn't have to be so harsh. Well, for those people who believe that uh, waterfalls and puppy dog tail swishes are, yeah. are uh, what it's all about, yeah. I got news for you. I sleep right through that. You stuff. sleep right through that, oh, yeah, yeah. It, but the but I think and the I think ocean. you kind of sleep through that too. Because how many times do you have it set off? No, no, no. I don't sleep through it. No, I snooze it. You snooze it. I I say okay, that's that's my first assault. So we stop that, and I think about well. How bad do I have How to bad do right I now? want to get up, huh? Probably not too bad, but I might start thinking about stuff. Where do I find what mine sounds like? You got to go to your clock. I, I'm in there. All right. Then you go to edit. Yeah. Oh, edit. Yeah. And then you click on one of them. And then you go oh, to here's, there. Oh, is. here's my sound. There okay. Let's see. What do I get? Gonna, you got to go to the next thing. Click on what it's what it is down there. There it is. Okay. Will it not play? Here. Well, it's probably because it's... Oh. Seriously? You've got... How did you do that? I don't know. But that's apparently my sound. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> And you know how high enough. I know. I I think. Uh, I think if if I could sing, and, and, and I was ever going to do enough. karaoke, yeah. I think that would be a fun song to be. do a duet too. But it I don't sing, be. and you're welcome. I'll sing it with you. Uh, no. <laughs> and so, how yeah. you start the day sets the day, right? Yeah. And so, if you if you win the morning, yeah. you win the day. And so, so Eric starts his day with. What is that? The submarine? Don't do that. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's a dive. It's a submarine. It's called a klaxon. A klaxon? Can we klax off? (laughs) (laughs) Apparently we can. Mm. Um, I want yours. (laughs) Would it wake you up though? Sure. I could go to, uh, to, to that song. Yeah. Yeah, Right. Right. Ain't no man. Right. And you just kind of wake up just singing and excited. (laughs) Let's do that. Let's do that. Well, that's a good way. Your alarm clock that if you want to win the day, right. They say, the experts say, don't use the snooze button. Oh, yeah. But, you know, if it works for you. It's a thing. Right? It, yeah, yeah. If it works for you yeah. and your your morning routine is working for you, then then stay with what, well, what's working. But if you're struggling yeah. with, you know what, I just feel like I'm behind every morning and I can't seem to get to get motivated. I can't seem to get out of bed on time. I'm always running late. I'm always yeah. blah, 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 blah. These are the tips. And, well, person. and I can't wait to hear these tips because uh, I am I am I'm not late every day, and I don't have a problem getting out of bed. This is part of my ritual, and it goes along with my bedroom companion. Your bedroom companion? Yeah, you know the thin curvy one. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's, it's my TV. <laughs> my TV. What is? How does? How does your alarm clock have anything to do with your TV? Because your the TV, bedroom companion. Well, it is my bedroom companion. You you know that because we've <laughs> said that for years. Uh, so, well, I thought the way you said it today that maybe the thin curvy one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it was it was you know. How, it has it curvy? It's got a curved screen. A curved screen. Yeah. What are, you, oh. what are you thinking? Well, I don't know. Yeah. This is why I asked the I, question. I had to get rid of that old, uh, rather large model. That I had a little too chunky for you. It was it was a little too robust, and mm-hmm. and then one day she just stopped talking to me. And she's like, and, "Nope, you can't handle me anymore." Right? <laughs> we're still talking about my TV, by the way, mm-hmm. folks, and we're going to get to the tips in, in just a second. But uh, how it works together is, I, I don't know how to explain it. I'm not going to be able to watch. I <laughs> listen to my TV all night long. You so you keep the TV on? I do for company. I I need it. For company. Yes. Yes. My yes. Bedroom companion. Com- yes. Yeah, so, so I right? can see I'm putting this together. And so when the alarm goes off, I get, I wake up and I hear the voices from my companion and I start my day slowly working into the news. So. Cause the news is on when I wake up. The news is on. How do you <laughs> pick what channel you want to listen to all night long? That is a very good question. And it changes if the day is Sunday. It does. It does. Oh, why? Absolutely. Like, what is different? Because there are infomercials on the Sunday on right. the channel that I prefer. And you don't want that. I will not so listen. To- An infomercial will wake me up and I'll wake up grouchy in the middle of the night. Oh, no, we don't want grouchy. I don't want to be sold in my dreams. 
Oh, but you wake up and you're just needing the circa 9,000. <laughs> <laughs> So, so yeah. No. And then, and then when he talks in the morning, he's like, but wait, yeah. there's more. It's it's my favorite. And if channel. I get up in the first, in the next 90 seconds, there'll be extra hot water in the shower. Yeah, yeah. It's my favorite uh, local news talk station uh, from, you know, Monday through Saturday. And then on Sunday, I switch it over to uh, the, the food, the PBS food channel. So my favorite answer to uh, what people used to get up in the morning, we used to have a gentleman who lived here. Um, he doesn't live here anymore, so I don't know if he still does this or not, but he would grab the podcast and be in, I don't know, somehow it would wake him up the next morning. So he would hear it the next morning because he set it up somehow yeah. to go off in the next morning. And so yeah. that's what he woke up to was an experience pros podcast. There and I thought go. that was kind of awesome. Very cool. Well, Tim Ferris, you know him, the four hour, four hour work week, work right? week guy. Yeah. He actually has five morning rituals that say set him up for a positive momentum and fewer distractions, in other words, helping him win the day. So five things that he likes to accomplish in the first 60 to 90 minutes. And he says if he hits at least three of these, well, wait a minute. Do we do five or are we doing three? Come on, Tim, commit. <laughs> commit. <laughs> you have a hard set of rules. <laughs> I mean, these either, are guidelines. Are we doing them or are we not doing oh, them? Good Lord. <laughs> All right, so uh, no, we're not one. pirates. <laughs> <laughs> I, I acquiesce. All right, so here's uh, here, here's number one: make your bed. Make your bed. And make I your bed. Started doing this probably three years ago, and I have a ritual. And you have a ritual. And he says the reason making your bed is so powerful is because it gives you a feeling of accomplishment first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I feel accomplished first thing in the morning because I make my bed, but my room looks nice. Yeah, and it's pretty. And when it's pretty, I feel better. I think that's the sense of accomplishment mm -hmm. he's talking about, because frankly, I can't imagine you not making your bed or doing any of the other ritualistic things that you do always uh, because it would drive you nuts. Yeah, I don't. It, it's messy. Yeah. It's messy. I don't I, like messes. I make my bed with the hope to find a different bedroom companion. And so... So it's not messy because you don't want to bring Correct. somebody into something messy. Absolutely not. Right? You're like, right. look, look how pretty it is in yep. here. Because Someone once told me that if I leave my unfolded clothes on the end of my other bed, which is a king size bed, and I have plenty of room to live with my unfolded clothes over there, that I was blocking love. You're blocking love because you so were keeping your laundry I, on the other side of the bed. Yes. Right? So I keep a very clean apartment now. And I do not block love. And I say every day, this is, I need, to, I need a psychologist. Robert. Do you need, do you, uh, we need a couch in here. I do. Right. Do you, do you have every you day I make my bed, I say, I'm not blocking love. I am inviting love. Please, Lord, bring a little love to me today. Every single day for three years. Wow. Freaked out. Let's move on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, he, Tim Ferriss, says the second activity in his success boosting morning routine is meditation. Oh, yeah. And so taking some time where you're not just rushing out and right into the day, right. some quiet time where you get to reflect, you can pray, you can meditate, write in a journal, uh, express some gratitude, or really just picture how this day and have an intention for how this day is going to go. Right. This right here, this one little nugget is so powerful because so often we get up and we are in reaction mode That's right. and we're running around and in response and, oh, shoot, I forgot to put gas in the car or I forgot that I had this meeting this morning and my only suit is at the dry cleaners or we are constantly in response mode. But if we can get our head in a space of what today looks like and we're looking at our calendar and we we've allotted for the amount of time we've got a map to where we're going we got gas in the car we went to the atm yesterday we've confirmed today's appointments so we know that people are going to show up we've we've pictured what that meeting how that meeting's going to go right. so we have a plan people well guess what what this is going to drive angel completely crazy out of the three of five that we uh, were supposed to talk about, <laughs> we only got to two. Oh. <laughs> Folks, don't go anywhere. When we come back, we'll finish this thing up. We're talking about uh, how to get your day off right. Experience Pros Radio Network. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, America's home for positive business talk. Hmm. 
KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. There is a darkness that seeks to divide us, but we will not let this house fall. Join the Americhicks, Molly and Kim, in a town hall of ideas as they search for the truth and find solutions real folks face today. Government's heavy hand is not the answer. The free market and free minds are. Join the Americhicks discussion today from 5 to 6 p.m. Together, we are a movement. Denver's only female-hosted call-in talk show on your drive home. The Americhicks, Kim Monson and Molly Vote weekday afternoons at 5 on KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Do you own a small business? Do you want free access to the biggest business networking event of the year? Check out Small Business Expo. It's free to attend and features more than 25 free business workshops, panel discussions, speed networking sessions, business card showcase, and over 100 exhibits. Gain leads and network with business experts, including Allstate, Progressive, and Zip Local. There's something for everyone at the Small Business Expo. The Small Business Expo is the largest and most anticipated business-to-business network networking event, trade show, and conference for business owners, entrepreneurs, and decision makers. If you're serious about your business, this expo is a must-attend event. Startups and business owners can take advantage of free admission and educational workshops covering online, social media marketing, employee benefit plans, credit and financing, strategies for increasing revenue and team productivity, mentoring, cloud technologies, retirement plans, and much more. Don't miss the Denver Small Business Expo at the Denver Convention Center, Thursday, June 22nd, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Register for free today at the smallbusinessexpo.com. That's the smallbusinessexpo.com. This is Dane Kaplis. A wise person once told me, if you don't have a seat at the table, you are going to end up on the menu. I think that applies directly to personal injury and wrongful death cases. If you're not represented by a highly accomplished law firm, the insurance company is probably going to eat you for lunch and you'll never even know it. So if you want to make sure that you and your claim are treated with the respect you deserve, give me a call. We are a serious firm for serious cases. And for 30 years, we have proven our ability to go up against the best the other side has to offer and to win. Our personal injury clients include everyone from the poorest of the poor to CEOs, teachers, farmers, police officers, doctors, lawyers, and professional athletes. We are able to make the vast resources of our firm available to good people from all walks of life by taking righteous cases on a percentage fee basis. You can reach me at 303-770-5551. That's 303-770-5551 or dancaplislaw.com. That's dancaplislaw.com. Celebrating 18 years as the leader in investing and trading education. Following your system has been fantastic. Yeah, I really appreciate the work you do. You're, you're really an inspiration. Well, all of the tools you've put together for us have just given us so much confidence. I have learned so much. It is absolutely incredible. And you're really one of the best I've ever heard. I've been with you for about a month and a half now, and I'm already up 7%. Financial education is, in many respects, the most important education you can get, and that's what they're getting from your show. You guys have always been great on the service side. I have so much more confidence than when I'm in my trading. Bill, keep up the good work. I love the chart. I've been in this business for 45 years, and you are the best. I've been following you, I guess, about nine months right now, and you've just done a great job. Listen to Phil, join the gang, and you'll never regret it. If you're serious about securing your financial future, then contact philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. This is Catherine Cooper. My husband, retired Master Gunnery Sergeant Jeffrey Cooper, and I survived a near-death head-on motorcycle crash. We called Attorney Jeremy Cave for help. He worked day and night to get us what we were entitled to. Unlike a lot of attorneys today, Jeremy Cave even makes house calls. He's been there for us every step of the way. He helped us understand our rights and answered all of our questions. Cave Law understands that many of you folks who listen to the station prefer to have a lawyer who sees things from your point of view. Well, I certainly do. I think it's time to put the personal back into handling personal injury. Jeremy Cave only gets paid when you do. Call Cave Law now for a free at-home consultation. 720-213-3737. If you're injured in an accident, call 720-213-3737. Or check out the brand new website, cavelawyer.com. That's cavelawyer.com. Personal and caring service from Cave Law. Call Jeremy today. 720-213-3737. 
I'm psychologist Dr. Peggy Mitchell-Clark. Are you confused, stuck in a rut, or ready for change? Then register for my Do Something Different for a Change personal transformation retreat in Denver on Saturday, June 17th. You'll receive life-transforming strategies and clarity about where you are, where you want to go, and what's holding you back. You'll leave feeling excited about doing something different and confident that you're moving in the right direction. Go to drpegradio.com and click on Retreat. Revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. The Experience Pros, America's home for positive business talk. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer helping you get through your business day. Thank you for taking us along on the ride. Uh, listen, if you are at all interested in doing something different to achieve a different result in your business, we invite you. Check out experiencepros.com. That's experiencepros.com. And over the top of every page, there's a uh, free trial button. It's a blue button. You click on it, and it tells you all the cool stuff that we are capable of doing. I, I've been uh, on the phone all day with our members and people who are in the free trial. And uh, it's really kind of cool because you get to share with them, like in, in week one, how many people who have, have who never would have known them right. have seen them. Yes. Learn more about them, wanted more information and went to their website. Yes. You know, I mean, the, the, that's a hot lead. It is right? a hot lead and the numbers are impressive. They're really impressive. And that comes with the uh, directory and the software that we present to you. And it's good nationwide. It happens no matter where you are because of the way that we invest in our SEO and uh, and get that out there. Second, secondarily, uh, we have virtual leads groups and virtual trainings. So uh, for a half an hour on Monday, Angel and I are going to spend uh, some quality time with you talking about the most important six inches of your business. And it's the six inches between your ears. Yes, yes. Right? It's all that mindset. Yep. And then uh, for another half hour on Mondays, if you want, we're going to teach you how to take each tool that we present, think of, of Experience Pros as a toolbox, right? If you need to hammer a nail, you're going to get the nail and the hammer, right? You're not going to grab the, the wrench or the drill or the saw. But wouldn't it be nice to know that if you needed to cut something, you had a saw or you needed a hole, you had a drill. We've got all of it in there. And so to explain that and to show people, they just get so excited about it. And then they get all grateful about it. And then they go, well, this is going to cost too much. And that's the best news. First day, 30 days is completely free. We don't even want your credit card. And then after that, it's only $150 a month. There's a lot in there. It's yeah. a super target for business. Check it, it out. It really is. Sign up today. Let us show you what we're mm -hmm. all about. Sign up at experiencepros.com. Click on the free trial. So we're talking about how to set yourself up with some morning rituals that yeah. help you win the day. And talking a little bit about what Tim Ferriss, who is the author of The 4-Hour Workweek, what he does, sharing a lot about what Eric does in the morning you know, as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a little psychosis. I'm a, I'm a 50-year-old single guy who uh, leaves the TV on because I need I, – silence is deafening for me. And and so I need uh, to hear something. And, um, and, and But I don't want to block love because eventually, someday, I believe that – the good Lord's going to hook me up. Hook you up. Well, I, mean, I mean that respectfully. I don't, I don't All know right. So fun things to do. Make sure you set your alarm in the morning and don't keep pushing snooze, but actually get up at the time you've decided to get up. Uh, right. Tim Ferriss says he makes his bed every day. Both yep. Eric and I buy into that. Yep. Feels better. Taking some time to to meditate, to be intentional about what you want this day to look like, the conversations you're going to have, the people you're going to attract to you, the wins that you're going to create. Yeah. And by starting your morning and having this space where you're where you're thinking about your day and you're planning your day and you're putting together your day. Now, realize that we haven't turned on our phones yet. We haven't scrolled through social social media well, well, yet. We haven't we, watched the news what? yet. You know, you get to set the tone for what you want in there, or you can do it after you watch the news, okay, right, like Eric. Good. Okay. All right. Step three is a little uh, uh, off the beaten path. I know. I had no idea. Do you know what Tim Ferriss does every day? He hangs. Hangs. He hangs. All right, folks, not with a rope, 
Let's keep it by clean. his hands yeah. on a self built rig for yep. one minute at a time. Now he says he actually does this several times throughout right. the day to decompress his spine and improve his grip strength. You what do. is it with boys in grip strength? Right? I've got one of these little gripper things that yeah, that's it's like not this, for your grip though. It, it's like this. It's like you squeeze it. That's not for grip. It's a grip. It's a it, it, it is, it is grip what, strength. What it is, but it's not for your grip strength. It isn't what's it not for? if you're using it. I like it's like, for cleavage. For cleavage. That's what that's for. Is that what that's? No, uh-huh. it's little. It's just no, like me. you hold it in your hand. Yeah, I'm, help, I'm helping your hair. I'm like, you know, when you go mm-hmm. to, I mean, the people that like have those handshakes, yeah. that like like bone crushing handshake, and yeah. this is how you get there? Well, that's how Tim Ferriss gets there. Uh-huh. You can achieve the same spinal decompression with an inversion table if you are so inclined. I don't like inversion tables because the blood all goes to my head and it hurts. Uh, but that's what he does. He hangs for a minute at yeah. a time. All right. Uh, how about this? Let's just say you're not going to do that because we're pretty sure you're not. Well, you could but do what what exercise. Anthony. No. No, Tony Robbins <laughs> Tony, does. Tony Robbins. Yeah. Jump into Jumping the ice in an ice pool. cold pool. No. You take a cold shower. No. Everything in science says you should. Yeah. I've seen this to Eric in the commercial break. <laughs> Everything says cold water, cold water for your hair because the hot you know water strips out the oils. Cold water for your face because it closes your pores. Cold water for your shower. Cold, cold, cold. I am a hot girl. I want hot water. I want to have my shower so hot you could cook a chicken in it. All right, so hold on for a second. <laughs> you, you, are, you, you are the parent of 24-year-olds, almost 24-year-olds, right? Mm-hmm, yeah, they'll be 24 next month. Okay. Look in the mirror. Whatever you're doing, don't change. Is it, it working? Is it working? It's all right. Working. I know this is what he said. He's like, Angel, what you do seems to be working. You're, You're right. doing all right. I have this insatiable. I, I think I need therapy. <laughs> I, like, I just think there's got to be a better way. Everything that I do, there's got to be a better way to do so, it. So I, I said to her, I said, you know, look, <laughs> you know, it, it, there is a better way. And she goes, you mean they could be wrong? Right. Yeah. You said, you know, Angel, maybe, maybe it what you're never doing is working. It occurred to you that once you locked in the <laughs> thought that this is the only way that it is, that it could be. They might could, not be right. There could be another story. <laughs> you could both be right. It's okay. And I, I never even thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, here's something else that Tim Ferriss does in the morning. And I know some people will start with some lemon water. Some people will start with their salt water, some kind of beverage that yeah. just kind of flushes your system and yeah. puts you in an anti-inflammatory space. He drinks a turmeric tea. I have tried that. It's but not tasty. It is not. It it's all not like tasty. floats to the top. Yeah, it does not. It doesn't. Uh, but my friend, Nick, Dr. Yeah. Nick Harris, who's a chiropractor and all into this paleo stuff. Tells me I need to start drinking bulletproof coffee in the morning. <laughs> All right, listen, we got to close this segment out. The fifth and final thing that Tim Ferriss says, and I agree with this as well, a morning ritual that helps you win the day, journal. Write about it. Write about what you plan to do. Write about what you did. Write about the blessings. Write about the gratitude. And then live it. We'll be back right after these messages at the top of the hour news. You're listening to Angel and Eric, and this is the Experience Pros Radio Network. America's home for positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Contact them on the web at experiencepros.com. This is the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raver. For more information, you can contact the Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or contact them on the web at experiencebros.com or on Facebook and Twitter at Experience Bros. If your customers love you, we want to know you. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. KDMT, Arvada, Denver. Denver's only business radio station, Money Talk, 1690 AM.
Lars Larson believes Obamacare was a death sentence. Because of the mandates, they were sold a plan that cost them so much in premiums. Some of those people likely looked at that and said, well, I'm going to go to the doctor as little as I possibly can. People don't go to the doctor. The condition they had was serious. They don't get early treatment. And then either it costs a whole lot more money to fix it or it doesn't get fixed at all because you die. The Lars Larson Show, weeknights at 8 on Money Talk, 1690 AM. Hey there, Dan Shikini, owner of Dunright Kitchens and Baths, Windows and Doors. There's absolutely no reason why right now can't be your time to get started on that beautiful new kitchen or that awesome bath you've always wanted. See what our family can do for your family. 800-362-8370. Question, would you seat your three-year-old child on a windowsill? And would you seat them in a car seat that's not the correct one? Secure their future. Seat them in the correct car seat. More info at safercar.gov slash the right seat. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, the most positive business talk show in America. Best-selling authors of lists that saved my business and founders of the Extreme Customer Service Directory, Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, are inspiring you to get your business right. They know that customer experience isn't just another thing. It's the only thing. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. Very nice to have you along with us today. We are here to help you get your business right. We invite you to remember every single day that small business is big business and your business is our business. We specialize in helping you leverage the relationships in business because it doesn't matter what business you're in. You're in the relationship business. That's it. All right. Our kindness act of the day is to give somebody a hug. Yep. And whether that's an actual human being, because you see somebody that you see hug, but it could even be just a reach out virtual. I'm thinking about you. You were on my mind. Yep. I think you matter. And just let's just lift the people up, some people up today. Do you know how to do the old uh, text version of a hug? Do you, know, do you know what that looks like? Was that the poke thing? No, 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 no. No, no? That's, that's a poke. Oh. No, the hug is putting their name uh, in between parentheses and then multiple parentheses. So if you have three parentheses, angel, three parentheses, that's a hug. Is it? It is. You know, if I would have received that, I wouldn't have known what that was. No? No. Oh, well, I did not know that. You, you were young back in 1995. Wow. Right? So here's how you give and receive a text hug. I just learned something. That's, that's how you do it. I had no <laughs> idea. Um that's that's pretty impressive. Well, um, I, I was alive, and in the days before emojis was even a word, we <laughs> had to give uh, ways to let people know that we were thinking of them or whatever. And so that's what it was. It was 1995, and it was three open parentheses, your name. I did not know that. All right. All right. So we finished off our first hour talking about – uh, some morning routines to get you off on to the day, to win the day. Talking, taking some tips from uh, Tony Robbins, Timothy Ferris, Eric Raymer, <laughs> right? All these successful guys telling you how they start their day. Yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit about how you end your day. We're going to bookend it. Oh, it's, like it's like a hug. It's like a hug. It's like a hug? Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. So I was, I was chatting. I get my head in the right place. Chatting, uh, I was listening to a podcast of somebody who's super successful. They're this go getter. They're this high impact speaker, uh, making, you know, such a difference in the world. And she said, you know, one night she, um, she kind of found herself, she kind of passed out asleep. She says, I didn't wash my face. I didn't do what I, you know, she has to like put her hair up in these little twisty things. I didn't twist my, my hair. I didn't look at tomorrow's day. She says, I just, kind of passed out right? because from exhaustion. Sure. Right? And we are going, going, going. She says her laptop was around her. She had all these notes and all this stuff that she was doing. And she realized that she had just run herself so long in the day. She didn't even put her pajamas on. She, I mean, she didn't do anything to get herself ready for bed. Just she out. just passed out from exhaustion. Okay. And so she made it an intention of hers that, <laughs> which I think is funny because she knows like, I'm going to really be this busy most of the time. Right. So I'm not going to allow myself to do that more than twice a week. 
<laughs> but knowing that probably twice a week I'll still I'll still run my run myself ragged. That's interesting. Okay. And I think, you know, there's a little honesty. There's sure. just a little honesty in that. And so, but when we think about our evening routine and setting ourselves up for for success the next day, you know, first of all, we need to recognize how valuable sleep is for us. Absolutely. Yeah. There's not an expert that would argue at any point whatsoever that the uh, sleep is critical to your overall health, your overall ability to be productive, uh, all of it. Sleep, 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 not bullet coffee, sleep. <laughs> Although they say, again, if, um, if you're having a hard time falling asleep, a tablespoon of coconut oil or a tablespoon of raw honey will help you to fall asleep on an empty stomach. Mary Poppins says a spoonful of sugar helps yeah, the medicine go down. Right, absolutely. And so here. Here's a couple of things to think about as you as you are getting your ready for bed is actually have an evening routine. And and so an hour, hour and a half before before you want to go to sleep, yep. set yourself up for success to where you're calming down for for most people turning off the screens because the the blue light that comes from all those screens impacts our neural activity in the night makes it hard for us to relax and go to sleep absolutely so turning off all electronics all screens this is where things like reading books remember those i, do. <laughs> I know I you do. do i know you do um and and kind of calming your environment do you, do you remember trying to put a toddler to bed right you know <laughs> do you remember those days yeah. where you know you 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 would warn them that, that bedtime was coming. Right. You know, maybe you had a bath that that you know was soothing. So a warm bath. Dope them up with some hot milk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah Doping yeah. them up, right? <laughs> yeah. Reading some bedtime stories, getting your cozy jammies on, your favorite teddy bear, you know, turning the lights down, saying your prayers and your gratitude, and just giving yourself a space. Well, think about how special really that time was. And crazy because the kid's fighting, right? Every right. step of the way, I'm hungry. I need another glass of water. Sure. I'm not tired. And, and you know, they don't want the, they don't want to miss the party. And so even as an adult, I think we still feel the same way. We don't want to miss anything. Right. And, and, and I don't know, you might have one of those magical pillows that as soon as you lay down on it at night, it reminds you of all the things you didn't get done in the day. I don't like that pillow. I know it is. It's kind of it magical. Makes my neck hurt. Right. And so, uh, this is where you take some time to review your tomorrow. So never, end, never start tomorrow until you never end today until you plan tomorrow. Right. So take some time to look at your calendar. What does tomorrow look like? So packing your lunch, if you need to making sure if you have lunch reservations, you know, who's your lunch companion, confirming those appointments, um, setting yourself up for, for a successful day. So if something happens, perhaps your alarm doesn't go off. Maybe the dog gets out and you're having to chase the dog or an emergency call, or something just shows up in your morning that you weren't expecting, it then it doesn't have to derail right. your whole entire day. So putting yourself in your comfy sleep clothes, Jay, my husband calls them my bed pants. He yep. does not like bed pants. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> she's got her bed pants he, he doesn't like your bed pants. <laughs> he does not like my yeah, bed pants. Well, um, who, who could blame him? Right? And so I wear bed pants in the winter because they keep me warm. All right. But setting yourself up for the success, calming yourself off into the day, uh, you know, not eating or maybe a glass of, of warm milk or turmeric, that turmeric tea. Have you tried that turmeric? I actually tea? have. And, and turmeric tea, let, let's just uh, pause, pause for a second on that. Uh, turmeric has so many healthful benefits and you're right. It doesn't dissolve uh, it doesn't. In, in anything. So you have to stir it up until it's like in, uh, in suspension, right? Right. And you got to like you swallow stir, it as fast stir, as you can. Yeah. Sip, stir, 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 stir. That's it. But if you do, it has lots of great benefits, health benefits. It does uh, calm you down. It does a lot of stuff for your liver and your kidneys and and, uh, and so on. It's an anti-inflammatory. There's lots of benefits to turmeric. Um just tastes nasty. Hey, I've, I've stuck it in my little ninja to get it all mixed up yeah. really good. And it will for a little and bit. And it will for a little bit. That's a suspension for you. It's heavier than the water. Yeah. and yeah. It, But it's so hot. It's too hot because it's got to be hot in order to taste good. 
and then it's too hot to sip fast. <laughs> and so then I'm reheating it and then I got to remix it again. It was quite the, it was quite <laughs> the, the, the circus to try to drink the, the turmeric tea, but you can start to see the value in setting yourself for success, both in your evening routine and your morning routine, rather than just falling in bed so exhausted. And I think especially as parents, you know, this is finally the quiet time where the kids are finally in bed and we think, ooh, I can go and work in the office. Right. Or I had a girlfriend, she's like, okay, I can finally paint the dining room. It's 11 o'clock at night, she's painting, painting the dining room because this was the only quiet time and the only free time that she had. And once in a while to have activities that keep you up late at night, yeah. they're okay, but they're not sustainable because we are in a constant state of exhaustion. I think they are. we are. Mm -hmm. And it's not sustainable, Angela. Mm -hmm. I just dealt with somebody who, uh, who says, and he's just commenting. He says, uh, gosh, I'm sorry I missed this event uh, that, that happened today. I'll try again uh, next week. And I said, you, you missed it by, by a full day. It happened it, yesterday. It was yesterday. It was yesterday. But and we are. Know, we're so busy. Yeah. We're running. We're crazy. We're trying to cram so much in. Here's the quote of this week that we've been talking about. And it is simply this. Simplify to amplify. Yes. And so let's take some of the things off of our plate probably things that we've just been doing out of habit or because we've just done it for so long. But if you kind of clean sweep and kind of do a, a whole, like you would do a spring cleaning, what really needs to be here? What really are the things that I really should be doing that are moving myself? They're, they're taking care of my self-care or they're taking care of my relationships or they're taking care of my finances. And if they're not, and they're just busy and they are not fulfilling, let's look at eliminating them. And when you do all that elimination, you're going to bring your best self to work. And our next guest is going to help us understand what that means and how we can take advantage of it when we return. You're listening to Angel and Eric, and this is the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. As a small business owner, your focus should be on your customers and providing a great customer experience. You shouldn't be investing time and energy on bookkeeping, accounting, and taxes, but somebody has to do it. Trust Teresa and her team at Luna's Accounting and Tax. Teresa and her team will take care of all your bookkeeping, accounting, and taxes. They'll keep you informed and streamline the process. Luna's Accounting and Tax keeps your business compliant and up-to-date, and they'll give you the great customer experience your customers have come to expect. Free your time and gain the peace of mind to keep your focus on your customers. They will help you, too. Call Teresa at Luna's Accounting and Tax today. 720-323-4917. 720-323-4917. 720-323-4917. Or visit lunastax.com. That's lunastax.com. That's lunastax.com. Se habla espanol. Hi, this is residential real estate expert Dan Palomino from the Colorado Dreamhouse team. Listen, if you're thinking about selling your home, you want to get the highest price in the shortest amount of time. To do that, you need a great real estate team and one with incredible marketing. We're so sure our marketing plan for your home is better than everyone else. We're willing to put our money where our mouth is. Here's what we're offering. Interview the Colorado Dreamhouse team to sell your home. Then interview our competition. If their marketing plan is better than ours, then you can hire them and we'll pay you $250. I know. It sounds crazy giving you $250 to hire our competition. It probably won't happen because we're so sure you'll find our marketing plan better. You'll hire us to sell your home at top dollar. Why not give it a try? You have nothing to lose and $250 to gain. Call us today at 720-446-6325. Or to find out more information about our marketing guarantee, visit coloradodreamhouse.com forward slash 250. So... What would you do with an extra $500 a month in your budget? 500 bucks. This isn't hypothetical, by the way. This is something you may need to think about very soon if you decide to become a member of MediShare. MediShare is a way to pay for your health care, and typically it costs $500 less per month for a family versus other health care plans. So seriously, think about this. You could pay off loans, pay down a mortgage, save the money for retirement, donate to charity. That would be a big deal. But you know what? Here's the best thing. MediShare works. It has 250,000 members and it's growing 
fast. With MediShare, not only do you save, you don't have to pay for things you don't believe in either. And that is a beautiful thing too. So here's how you can find out more and you might actually wind up saving even more than $500 a month. So check into it. Here's the number, call 844-41-BIBLE. That's 844-41-BIBLE. Now available in Montana, call 844-41-BIBLE. You've been thinking about getting your concealed handgun permit for a while now. Security and peace of mind, self-defense, and home protection, all valid reasons for your concealed handgun permit. You don't need to delay it any longer. Now's the time. DCF Guns in Castle Rock has a concealed carry weapons class. It has a $200 value, but for a limited time, you can get it for just $100 only at DenverHalfPrice.com. That's DenverHalfPrice.com. This class is intended for new and experienced shooters looking to apply for a concealed handgun permit. The class exceeds the state of Colorado requirements to apply for your concealed permit. This course by DCF Guns in Castle Rock teaches the basic knowledge, skills, and attitude for owning and using a pistol safely. That's a $200 certificate for a concealed carry weapons class for just $100 from DCF Guns and only available at DenverHalfPrice.com. That's DenverHalfPrice.com. That's DenverHalfPrice.com. This is the Experience Pros Radio Show. Got an opinion or want to ask us a question? Email radio at experiencepros.com or message us on the Experience Pros Facebook page and we'll interact with you live on the show. To the Experience Pros Radio Show, Angel Tussie and Eric Grammer. Thank you very much for connecting with us. How's, uh, How's your fitness at work? Let's talk about that. Individuals today long to bring their best self to work. We really want to, despite what our employees, sometimes our employers sometimes think. We want jobs that only not only utilize our experience, but also meet our financial needs. Mm-hmm. Jobs that provide meaning and reflect lifestyle and cultural needs. In the book, Fit Matters, Mo, Mo Carrick and Cami Dunaway, they aim to deepen the positive connections between people and work. They provide a much needed roadmap to help individuals find a job they, that they love at any stage of their career. You can find more information about Fit Matters at fitmatters.biz. And on the phone, we have Mo Carrick, co author of Fit Matters. Mo, welcome to Experience Pros. Mo, are you hi there? there? Oh, hi, Mo. I'm here. Very nice to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. So, Mo, uh, in, in the book Fit Matters, uh, as we aim to do exactly that, deepen those positive connections between p- uh, people and work, you've come up with the Fit Manifesto. Will you help us understand what that is all about? Absolutely. It's a pleasure to talk to you all today. The manifesto is our attempt to put forward what we what we wish for, what we're um, uh, what my co-author Cammy Dunaway and I really um, believe is possible in the world of work. You know, seventy-seven percent of people report to Gallup and other polls feeling disengaged and uh, not really like they're thriving in the workplace. And we believe that we can do better. So we've outlined in the manifesto um, the the dimensions of fit that we think are critical to help make the world a better place. I'm happy to share with you what they are, but there's eight there's eight elements. There, that, there are uh, eight. So behind we it. probably won't get to all of them, but let's start yeah. with number one, which is it's possible to feel engaged, happy, and valued at work. That would be such a refreshing change for so many people. Yes, absolutely. Right, I get it. Right, and I, I, I think that you. We've heard terrible statistics, and you probably have something more current than what I have. But you know, a majority of people driving to work or driving home from work right now, not happy, don't feel valued, don't feel appreciated. We're just kind of doing it because I need a paycheck, or this is what I've always done, or I'm afraid. Of, I don't. Whatever their issues, but they're not happy. How, how, I mean, can we do this in the job that we're already at, find value if we haven't found value there before? Yes, absolutely. It's one of the things we really looked at when we were writing the book and doing the research is, you know, what happens if you are in a job that you aren't find, finding fulfilling and you're not feeling that you're thriving, but really you can't leave for whatever reason, you know, economically, perhaps you need to stay right now. Maybe you're 
spouse has a job in that city and you're not able to relocate or it's the best job in town that you can find. And so, you know, leaving is not an option. We actually wrote a chapter on the book and dedicated um, quite a bit of our research to what we call flexing to fit, which is to say, okay, through self-knowledge and some practical new and different practices that may include changing my mindset, changing the, the relationship that I have with my colleagues or my boss at work or reframing things that I might do outside of work so that I'm fulfilled in other ways. How can I flex what is within my control, which is really what I believe in, what I do every day to help increase that, uh, that fit and become more engaged. I may not, you know, our belief is there's no perfect job. We not, we aren't necessarily always feeling like, Oh, every single day I jump out of bed and I just go to work completely happy. For most of us, that's not true every day, but what we're looking for is most days to feel like, gosh, this is um, a place that I can bring some of my highest and best skills to. And uh, we do believe, and we've heard story after story of people who have made that work through flexing to fit in their current situation. Um, And sometimes they go on to change the situation ultimately, and sometimes that's enough to keep them content for a longer period of time with that company. Flexing to fit is an an interesting phrase, and uh, I'm not entirely sure what that all looks like, Mo. Does that mean? I mean that we have to concede. Do we have to give up uh, certain things? Is it a a two way street between management and an employee? Yes, I think it's both. Um, we start the chapter with a quote that I'll share with you. I love it. I was just looking at it the other day by Carlos Barrios, who says, "Flexibility makes buildings to be stronger. Imagine what it can do to your soul." And so we do really believe that a lot of the work of flexing happens internally. But part of why Cam and I wrote this book is it's also intended to be a call not only to the employee who's suffering at work and desires a better situation or to feel more content, but also for the employer, for small and large businesses to say, what do I need to do to design or run my company differently so that it is an organization that is really compatible with human life and human spirit? Mm-hmm. So it is a twofold um, dimension. And there's a couple of different piece, you know, pieces that we look at when we're thinking about flexing. Some of them come, you know, internally with the employee about shifting roles, looking at their work in a different way, strengthening their skills, maybe creating an opportunity for growth, um, looking at how do they communicate differently with colleagues to create deeper and better relationships or maybe have a hard conversation with their boss. But then some of that may be that the result of a hard conversation is asking the employer to shift and move something to make it a more suitable environment uh, for that employee. A good example is I had a someone I interviewed for the book was um, really frustrated with his work situation because he had a personal passion that required him to be doing a lot of athletic training at different hours during the day. And his schedule was kind of very locked. He felt that the hours were specified and he through some work with this model was able to have a difficult conversation with his boss and with his colleagues and was able to adjust his hours um, in, in a way that didn't um, create unfairness in the workplace for his colleagues, but at the same time allowed him to pursue his personal passion and it upped his level of engagement to work because he was much more satisfied in a personal way. And it took a lot of courage for him to have that conversation. He was yeah. afraid it would be really, you know, not seen well. I think a lot of times we are, we, we make it up in our head that it's not going to be received well. Somebody's going to be mad. It's not going to, they're not going to accept it. And a lot of times when you just have a conversation with somebody, uh, it actually turns out far better than, than we imagine it to be in our heads. We always have the worst scenario sure. in our heads. We're talking Absolutely. with Mo Carrick, the author of Fit Matters, the Fit Manifesto, as can be found at fitmatters.biz. Definitely needed. We're hearing so much about client or, or um, employee disengagement yep. these days. So the timing is perfect. Mo, how do our listeners follow you and Cami and make sure they get a copy of the book Fit Matters? Absolutely. They can go to fitmatters.biz. They can go to Mo Carrick or Cami Dunaway.com. Um, that we also both are on Twitter, um, Mo Carrick and uh, at CBW8. And uh, we've got several different opportunities for engagement in our blogs and with the manifesto. We also have a fit checklist on the fitmatters.biz site. It can be fun for someone to assess what is my fit right now and what areas might I want to work on flexing so that I can feel happier at work. I love it. It's it's great. Your uh, your design is fantastic. The thought it makes all the sense in the world. God bless you on what you're doing out there, Mo. 
Absolutely. Thanks so much. Thanks for your good work, too. You Appreciate betcha. it. Absolutely. Folks, don't go anywhere. We've got more positive business talk right after these messages. You are listening to Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. This is the home of positive business talk. And uh, we invite you to go check out experiencepros.com. That's experiencepros.com. And click on the free trial. Back after these messages. You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, America's home for positive business talk. The Colorado Business Roundtable brings you Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 a.m. Hear from key leaders in Colorado's business community advocating for proactive business policies that strengthen the economy and help business grow and thrive in Colorado, as well as helping to make Colorado the best place to live now and for generations to come. Connect and Collaborate weekdays from 4 to 5 p.m. right here on Denver's Money Talk, 1690 and Money Talk 16. 1690.com. When you want authentic Mexican food, think Las Hermanas Mexican Cafe. At Las Hermanas, each Mexican dish is made with love. With over 30 years in the restaurant business, they bring a passion and flavor you will surely savor. Fresh made chips and salsa, authentic Mexican cuisine, and delicious desserts will keep you coming back again and again. Las Hermanas is a family-owned restaurant conveniently located in Aurora near Parker and I-225. The only thing better than their mouth-watering dishes is is getting it for half price. That's right. Enjoy two Hermana specialties, normally $20, for only $10. Now that's tasty. And you can only get this deal at DenverHalfPrice.com. Which delicious dish will you choose? The fried tacos, steak a la Mexicano, stuffed sopapilla, or one of over a dozen choices? Visit DenverHalfPrice.com to get an authentic Mexican dinner for two for only $10. And head to Las Hermanas Mexican Cafe today. Do you own a small business? Do you want free access to the biggest business networking event of the year? Check out Small Business Expo. It's free to attend and features more than 25 free business workshops, panel discussions, speed networking sessions, business card showcase, and over 100 exhibits. Gain leads at network with business experts, including Allstate, Progressive, and Zip Local. There's something for everyone at the Small Business Expo. The Small Business Expo is the largest and most anticipated business-to-business networking event, trade show, and conference for business owners, entrepreneurs, and decision makers. If you're serious about your business, this expo is a must-attend event. Startups and business owners can take advantage of free admission and educational workshops covering online, social media marketing, employee benefit plans, credit and financing, strategies for increasing revenue and team productivity, mentoring, cloud technologies, retirement plans, and much more. Don't miss the Denver Small Business Expo at the Denver Convention Center, Thursday, June 22nd, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Register for free today at thesmallbusinessexpo.com. That's thesmallbusinessexpo.com. This is Dan Kaplis. Our firm is dedicated to always being on the leading edge of the practice of personal injury law. That includes game-changing, next-generation technology, nationally respected experts, and innovative visual tools that help us bring our client's case to life for the purposes of settlement or, if necessary, trial. We only accept a limited number of cases, so we're able to devote to each client our full arsenal of technology, skilled attorneys, and staff. We are a serious firm for serious cases, and we make the vast resources of our firm available to good people from all walks of life by taking righteous cases on a percentage fee basis. If you'd like to talk with me about your case, just give me a call or email me through our website. There's no charge for an initial consultation. 303-770-5551. 
303-770-5551 or dancaplislaw.com. That's dancaplislaw.com. Finally, be comfortable in your home. Install a new energy-efficient Lennox heating and air conditioning system from Pasture Camp and receive up to $1,700 in rebates. Or take advantage of 0% interest financing for up to 72 months with approved credit. The Pasture Camp family has provided comfort and a customer satisfaction guarantee for over 50 years. Discover Pasture Camp and experience comfort. Call 303-777-1234 or visit pasturecamp.com. The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a business revolutionary by sharing a fan bragging story of great customer service by using the hashtag FanBrag or calling the Fan Bragging Hotline at 855 FanBrag. F-A-N-B-R-A-G. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros radio show. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join us for Positive Business Talk. You ever heard the phrase, if it's going to get done, it's up to us? That I have heard that phrase. Mm-hmm. Well, listen to this. College students nationwide are taking action on America's long-term debt issue, combining their voices to raise awareness and urge Congress to follow their lead. And the way they're doing it is by participating into the in the Up to Us competition. It's a program that empowers students to raise awareness about national debt, how it could affect their economic opportunities, and what their generation can do about it. On the phone, we have Hillary Allen with us. She's a, the spokesperson and community manager for Up to Us, passionate about helping college students find their voice and power on a campus. She actually participated in the Up to Us campaign her senior year of college, which resulted in a marketing inter- internship and now her current position. Hillary, thanks so much for being on Experience Pros today. Hi, Angel. Thank you so much for having me. We also have Terrence Dillon, who is the college student who led the winning team from Jackson State University awesome. by creating some fun and viral campaigns on campus. Terrence's team will receive $10,000, a trip to Washington, D.C. to attend the Peter G. Peterson 2017 Fiscal Summit and get to meet with America's legislators to discuss our economic future. Terrence Dillon, welcome to Experience Pros. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. All right. So, Hillary, let's begin with you. This is uh, up to us competition and and various and the movement that goes along with it. How long has it been around, and how many people are really participating in this thing? Yeah. So, the up to us competition was first launched in 2011 with just 10 teams. And today we have 75 teams. Wow. Um, so, five years later, the program has grown incredibly. And I think that's a reflection of what students are getting out of the, the experience of participating in the program. I can say myself, um, you really walk away with a better understanding of a, an abstract topic of the national debt and the federal budget. Uh, but more than that, you're walking away with leadership skills and a better wherewithal of running a campaign and the challenges and the opportunities that that can present. I love it. And what a neat way to get college students involved. Of course, anytime there's a competition, you know, they, they kind of rally together and they get super duper creative. So uh, let's talk about why up to us. I mean, why is it so important? Why are we focusing on teaching the millennials about the national debt? Yeah. So, the, nas- the long-term national debt is important, I think, personally, because it's a nonpartisan issue. Um, the, the debt affects everyone, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat or a liberal or an independent. It doesn't matter your political affiliation. In the long term, it will affect you on a daily uh, personal level. And our job uh, in Up to Us, our mission is to help college students understand the, those consequences. Mm. 
So first we get, we start off with just budget basics. You know, what is a stock? What is a bond? Um, we're looking at uh, statistics coming from the Congressional Budget Office where we get all of our data and we're picking it apart. So um, students can understand what the consequence or the repercussions of not addressing the long-term national debt are and then have fun with it with, like you said, putting on these creative campaigns. One of the things Terrence did such a great job is um, of is uh, working on campus partnerships um, and that's another value of the program is not only a, the knowledge of knowing about the long-term national debt but also reaching out across academic and political uh, disciplines sure reaching out to the other side and having a dialogue um, and creating campus partnerships uh, for the campaign to really foster that nonpartisanship and that civic engagement component of the program. And that's what we look for when we're judging these campaigns. All right. Well, let, let me uh, let me shift the, the conversation to Terrence here for, for just a minute. And, and Terrence, I mm -hmm. am, as I am getting ready to, to speak to you, I am watching the U.S. National Debt Clock. You can find it at usdebtclock.org. And, oh, my goodness, this is freaky scary what did the team over at Jackson State University do to win the competition this year? Wow, well, well, it was starting off, it was very interesting because when it comes to the topic of the national debt, many millennials and students, they don't really hear this conversation. I didn't really know much about it until I was introduced to the competition. So, you know, bringing a brand new topic to students on campus, that was really the biggest challenge, but uh, the best way that we came across it was just kind of making it interactive, making it fun, and just kind of find a way of what can we do to bring people to the table so they want to have the conversation. So uh, one thing we did on campus was we did a Solve the Debt game, game night where basically we took games like Will of Fortune and Deal or No Deal and twisted them to theme around the national debt. We call it uh, Wheel of Debt, Debt and No Debt, and we had one of our teammates cuss up as a loan shark to walk around uh, the lunchroom inviting people to come out. So it, it was really fun. Uh, people were really interested because they're not used to seeing things like that. And once you kind of point out the fact that, hey, this is uh, this tab on the national debt is something we're going to have to pick up with our futures, it really makes students want to get involved because they do take their future serious. And mm -hmm. um, yeah. addressing long-term national debt is key. I, I love that. I just got one follow-up question. Was the loan shark Katy Perry's left blue loan shark or the right blue loan shark? <laughs> Thank you for getting that. Uh, <laughs> Hillary, we, we'll be real fast. All right. All right. So uh, are, are you, have you made your trip to Washington yet, Terrence? Yeah, so we, we made our trip to uh, Washington, D.C. and got to uh, be a part of the Peterson's Foundation Physical Summit, which was amazing, seeing so many uh, political figures talking to them personally and getting their viewpoints on uh, things like the long-term national debt. It, it was such an amazing experience. All right, so Terrence, what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> well, uh, I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur at heart, so I'm all about starting businesses and you know doing positive things in the community. Uh, as of What I got going on right now is I got one more year at Jackson State, I plan to uh, be, do this thing called the JET program where you get to go be an assistant language teacher in Japan for up to five years. Uh, I got to go to Japan earlier this year. It was amazing. I love anime and Japanese culture. So I want to do that for two years, come back, be in the community. I love that. That's I awesome. love that. Well, it sounds like you are on your way to amazing success. Darren, congratulations for winning the Up to Us campaign competition Absolutely. this year. I know the competition was, there was a lot of people participating. It's only going to grow bigger. Hillary, um, any last words about, about what you want people to know about the Up to Us competition? Sure. So um, if they'd like to learn more, we'd love to uh, talk to you directly. You can visit our website at itsuptous.org. There's contact information on our website. Um, if you want to take direct action, you can sign the Up to Us pledge that states that you're a millennial and you care about the long-term national debt 
and we will send that pledge on to uh, your local legislator, depending on the zip code that you plug into that pledge. Um, so there are multiple ways to get involved, to take action, and we're, we look forward to speaking with you. Um, also, if you know a faculty member who's at a community college or a university, we'd love to speak with them as well to implement this program. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, Terrence, Hillary, with Up to Us, thank you so much for being on Experience Pros today. Thank, thank you, so, you much. so much for having us. All right. There you have it. And I, I am I'm mesmerized by the blinding speed with which our U.S. national debt continues to grow. I wish I could just plug this into my, my uh, savings account just, just for a day, <laughs> just one day. A be, lot, lot more zeros than what are in there wow, now. Wow, they're just the numbers are flying. You know, and I think yeah, we just because it is so big, it's really hard to get a grip on it. Yeah. Um, and and it's so overwhelming that it just it does not compute, which is why it needs a big giant computer clock to do that. But what a Absolutely. neat what a neat opportunity for our college students to come well, out because you remember being in college. Right? I mean, we're going to change the world. Yeah, absolutely. You know, before life kind of sucked us up. <laughs> <laughs> well, and to be able to, you know, like Terrence and his team, to to beat out 74 other uh, candidates, mm-hmm. you know, teams from around the country, all trying to do something that will affect a world change. It's good stuff. It is good stuff. All we're right. doing our own part to keep a world change right here at experiencepros.com. Make sure you share the show. And have you signed up for the free trial yet? America's home for positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Pros radio show. Contact them on the web at experiencepros.com. KDMT, Denver's Money Talk, 1690 AM. Did you know 50% of people with severe mental disorders are affected by substance abuse? At A New Outlook Counseling Services, they provide a safe healing environment for those suffering with substance abuse, relationship, or mental issues. Robert Johnson is a licensed therapist in long-term recovery and has a master's degree in marriage, family, and child therapy. He offers evidence-based practices backed by research, offering greater success in alleviating symptoms and are effective in overcoming substance abuse. A New Outlook Counseling Services has over 45 five-star ratings on RateAbiz. They're open six days a week and accept most major insurance and Medicaid. They will also work with families in need on a sliding scale. So don't wait to get the help you need. The healing begins here. Call A New Outlook Counseling Services now at 720-370-5216. 720-370-5216. Or or visit the website, HighlandsRanchCounselor.com. That's HighlandsRanchCounselor.com. You want to relax. You want to feel fabulous. Reduce stress. Pamper yourself. Detoxify your body. You want to visit Me Spa in Belmar Shopping Center. Find out what the ultimate pampering experience feels like and what better way to do it than for half price. For a limited time, we're featuring a $150 gift certificate for just $75. And the only place you'll find it is on DenverHalfPrice.com. Me Spa is an award-winning day spa that will offer you a soothing place to put your life on pause become the very best version of you by spending time pampering yourself and unwind from that stressful work week at me spa find out what the ultimate pampering experience feels like and what better way to do it than for half price that's a 150 dollars certificate for just 75 dollars, and you can find it only on denverhalfprice.com that's denverhalfprice.com that's denverhalfprice.com Policies issued by American General Life Insurance Company, Houston, Texas. Not available in all states. For details, visit AIGdirect.com. Do you have a family? Would you like to help make sure they'll be taken care of if anything were to happen to you? If you answered yes, you probably need life insurance. Now, do you think life insurance is expensive? If you answered yes to that, too, you definitely need to give AIG Direct a call. We could find you a quarter of a million dollar policy for just $14 a month, which means you could save hundreds of dollars a year. Call us now for a free, no obligation quote. 1 800 400 5008. Since 1995, we've helped millions of people find out if they could save up to 70% on their term life insurance. See how affordably we can help you protect your family. Call AIG Direct now for your free quote. 1 800 400 5008. You could save up to 70%. That's 1-800-400-5008. 1-800-400-5008. 
Hi, this is residential real estate expert Dan Palomino from the Colorado Dreamhouse team. Listen, if you're thinking about selling your home, you want to get the highest price in the shortest amount of time. To do that, you need a great real estate team and one with incredible marketing. We're so sure our marketing plan for your home is better than everyone else. We're willing to put our money where our mouth is. Here's what we're offering. Interview the Colorado Dreamhouse team to sell your home. Then interview our competition. If their marketing plan is better than ours, then you can hire them and we'll pay you $250. I know. Oh, it sounds crazy giving you $250 to hire our competition. It probably won't happen because we're so sure you'll find our marketing plan better. You'll hire us to sell your home at top dollar. Why not give it a try? You have nothing to lose and $250 to gain. Call us today at 720-446-6325. Or to find out more information about our marketing guarantee, visit coloradodreamhouse.com forward slash 250. This is Michael Medved for townhall.com. If Theresa May wins her expected victory in June's British elections, it will represent the latest evidence of a sweeping international trend, the utter collapse of the old left. Britain's Labour Party dominated the United Kingdom for 13 years under Tony Blair and Gordon Brown, but with radical leader Jeremy Corbyn, it struggled for traction and relevance. The same thing happened in France, where the candidate of the long-dominant socialists finished a dismal fifth in recent elections. In Germany, center-right Chancellor Angela Merkel has already ruled for 12 years and is heavily favored to capture another term in September. And in Israel, the leftist labor party that held power for the nation's first 29 years now commands only 16 percent of their parliament. Prime Minister Bibi Netanyahu faces more formidable competition from fellow leaders on the right. In America, as Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren and other hardliners drag Democrats leftward, the nation's oldest political party faces much the same fate. I'm Michael Medved. Revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. The Experience Pros, America's home for positive business talk. Welcome back to the Experience Pros radio show. This is America's home for positive business talk, and we are positively thrilled that you are joining us today. You ever, uh, you ever think in order to reach your goals, you're going to go nuts? What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> what did you hear? <laughs> well, we came across an article. Uh, Wanda Thibodeau wrote an article in Inc.com that says, uh, how you can reach your goals that you obsess over without going insane. Obsess? I mean, that's not obsessive. It's just staying focused, like eye on the prize, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's necessary. <laughs> okay, maybe she should have written how to reach your goals that you obsess over and not taking everybody else with you as you go insane. <laughs> Tell my kids a little bit crazy is okay, right. right? All right. So shifting consumer preferences and technological innovations have made digital the new path for a lot of commerce. But the move to online would go nowhere if not for the ability for customers to complete secure financial transactions. How do you get there? Well, Netflix figured it out. Amazon figured it out. MasterCard figured it out. UPS and so on. And they obsessed over solving this problem. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I love it when other companies obsess over something, figure it out, and pave the way for the rest but of they, us. They do pave the way for and us. And I guess I should, you know, I should realize that when they pave the way and make it easier for, for smaller companies who don't have research and development, we don't have these big marketing budgets, and we are learning from them, yeah. that that also trickles out as well. It does. And so when others are learning from something we've created, because we've gone out and done the research and we've put in the hard work and somebody else comes along and says, I like what you're doing. I'm going to do some of that, too, rather than getting ourselves all up in a twist. You're stealing my stuff, all my <laughs> ideas, yeah, something like that. All right. So let's talk about about, you know, obsession and insanity when it comes to when it comes to your goals well, the, the first thing Angel, is what you just said is, is if you take time to observe others around you you will see that every you know almost everything about who we are is a subset of what we've observed in their behavior and is us deciding i will be more like that or i never want to be like that so i think a simpler way to say what you said yeah. is everything we know yeah. we learn from somebody else 
Yeah. Yeah. It's everything. It. I mean, everything we know, good, bad, or indifferent, crazy ideas, smart ideas, ridiculous mindsets, we've learned from somebody else because that's how learning happens. Somebody yep. else taught it to us. We read it on the internet. We learned it from our parents. We've watched it in other people's behaviors. And so as we're growing and as our businesses, as we set some goals out, learning and watching what other people did, it's just smart. So we don't recreate the wheel, that we don't go backwards. We don't try something that's already been tried a hundred times. Right. Today, we're not trying to create a wheel. It's been done. <laughs> it's been done. It's been done. Yeah. Now we talk about, and what else can we do with that? And so it is smart to learn from and watch what other people have done. So what does this mean? Don't do this by yourself. Don't do it by yourself. Good. Uh, absolutely. All right. Uh, here's the second thing. How to reach the goals you obsess over without going insane. You have to mentally prepare yourself and defend not just your uniqueness, but the uniqueness of the business that you're in. You know, what, what's the, the, the biggest un, unique identifier? It's you. Well, so so often we want to be unique, right? It's how we stand out above yep. the crowd, how we how we explain our value because it's different. Sure. It's different than what everybody else is doing. We want to bring something different to the table. And yet with that uniqueness requires an education. Clearly. And we don't want to take the time to educate. We just want you to know we're different. Right. And because we're different, we're better. Pay me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right? Yes. I mean, that's kind of this the simplicity of it, of – of, yes, we want to be different. We want to be unique. We want to offer something nobody else is offering. But when somebody asks us a question or somebody wants, you know, kind of to dig in a little bit, we get all defensive and angry and irritated. You don't get me. You don't understand what I'm all about. You're right. You said you were unique. You now have to teach the community, the populace, right. why that matters and why that's better. And you have to do it with joy and love and patience in your heart. It's true. <laughs> Lean into the truth, even when others assume. I am, uh, I am forever uh, jumping to assumptions that are not always accurate. But when you have the truth there, you are less likely to go insane. So I read a, I read a statement recently that says, that communication is about the message received, not about the message sent. It clearly. So a lot of times what we're saying and what other people are hearing are two different things. The onus is on us to make sure that message is received. So we can say it, we can say it again, we can say it louder, we can keep saying it, but if they don't hear it and they don't receive it, it doesn't matter what you said. And so a lot of times we assume that just because I said it, that you, you got it and we're on the same page. So this is where we have to check in with people and we actually have to communicate and find out if they are on the same page. Did they hear what you said? Right. Do, does it make sense? And I was, I actually had lunch with my dad today and we're, we're actually going out to Florida, which is where my parents live. Yeah. We're doing this like juggling of a schedule. And I said to him, I wanted to have this conversation with you in person and not over text because I was worried it would get confusing. And I needed to make sure he received what I was sending. And I knew he wouldn't in <laughs> a text, text message. Yeah. So think about when you are communicating and you're sharing your thoughts and you're sharing your ideas and you're sharing your goals or just sharing a conversation that the other person, if, if, and so here's, Here's how you know they don't get it. If they start they, nodding. They start nodding. Yeah. Nodding is bad. <laughs> we think. I thought nodding is a green. We thought it was a green. Yeah. No. But you, nodding means I don't know even what to ask you right. next. And so we <laughs> keep going as if they are totally on board. So unless there's dialogue. What did, what did, what did I say? <laughs> That's why mom asked. <laughs> what did I just say? Partly because we forgot already yeah. too, right? And we want to make sure we're on the same page. So Never stop learning. Never start re stop reaching for the stars. Right. Never stop pushing yourself. Never stop looking for people to surround yourself with that are go-getters, that they're excited about their future, that they're not just sitting around complaining about the past, but they actually are excited about the future. And when you hang out with those folks, they might be a little insane, but y'all are insane together, and so it's all good. There you go. All right, gang, thank you for tuning into this, the home of Positive Business Talk. We're grateful for your time. We'll do it again tomorrow. So same bat channel, same bat time. 
Can I say that with a trademark infringement? Probably not. Back tomorrow. The Experience Pros, revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. This is the Experience Pros Radio Show with business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer. For more information, you can contact the Experience Pros by calling 720-344-2446 or contact them on the web at experiencepros.com or on Facebook and Twitter at Experience Pros. If your customers love you, we want to know you. What are you waiting for? Join the revolution. KDMT, Arvada, Denver. Denver's only business radio station, Money Talk, 1690 AM.